we go with a review that I am very happy to bring you. This is Cubex Huff, aka Huffer in the Masterpiece scale. Um, this guy just got him yesterday, but I couldn't actually wait to do a video. Uh, he is absolutely fantastic. I think this is a great first outing from a new company. Uh, as I will show you in a minute, um, it's not perfect. Um, you can definitely tell that they are a new company. Uh, there's a lot of like plastic tolerance issues. But overall, like the transformation of this guy is fantastic. Everything is great. But uh, we'll get down to that in a second. So as you can see, he is Huffer. He looks like Huffer. Uh, the only difference between how he looks right now and how he looks when you first get him is right here. The headlights actually don't come like this. They actually, there's a hinge in the middle and you can rotate them around on themselves and it'll just create um, a flat part like this, which is how he looks in the cartoon. I just think he looks better with the headlights pointed out. So that's up to you. You can literally just flip them around. Um, once you get them half transformed, you can just go in there with your pinky and flip them. That's the easiest way. Trying to push on these is a pain in the butt because everything's kind of tight on them. So yeah, um, when I did get mine, this this piece right here uh, hinges up and it just locks the legs together. As you can see, I'm pulling pretty hard and it not going anywhere because this piece right here locks the legs together. Um, that wasn't connected. I guess it just wiggled free from shipping. And the legs weren't picked together properly, so it was kind of like a floppy mess. And I was kind of like, yeah. And I was kind of worried when I first touched him because because uh, of those issues. But once you transform them and you get a feel for it, you can see that how the legs are supposed to pick together. And it's just, you know, a shipping issue. Uh, so first thing first, he is light. He's not the densest, heaviest figure. He does feel more like a modern Takara uh, masterpiece figure. How they're not, you know, there's no die cast in them. It's just plastic. It doesn't feel like cheap plastic. It doesn't feel like knockoff quality plastic. It's a little thin. Uh, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel as thick and solid as like a higher end third party or a masterpiece figure. Like the quality of the plastic, but there's definitely nothing wrong with it. It definitely doesn't feel like a knockoff or anything. It just feels a little thin. You know, it's the first outing again. Uh, some of the tolerances are a little wacky, uh, especially with these panels right here and this thing, which we'll get to in a minute because I can't get that one to close. But I mean, overall, like the transformation of this guy is fantastic. He looks, you know, he obviously he's his G1 truck mode, um, and you can see he's mostly a folded up robot, but weirdly enough, he's not a folded up robot. You'll see. It looks like he just kind of pulled this up pull out the legs, twist them around, and you're done, but it's actually quite involved transformation. I do very much like it. So, gimmicks in this mode. You can take this trailer hitch, which is actually a separate piece, lift it up. So these pieces, these pieces right here bend, and the only purpose for that is to do this. You can come underneath and flip out this panel here and kind of just lift everything up and plug it in right this two peg holes right there. I'm not even gonna go crazy doing this because I don't have the trailer right now. There we go. But oh. So you can just, obviously you get it a little tighter. I'm just doing it real quick just to show you. But you would just line this all up, peg this all together, and now he could tow, he would be at the right height to tow the uh, MP10 trailer. So you can actually have him tow Masterpiece Optimus' trailer. Um, he fits in inside the trailer and everything. He's totally with the new scale. So yeah, this actually doesn't peg down. It just floppy loose. It's pegged in right here to these two, what will be the feet, but it's fine. So um, so yeah, that actually makes it high enough to, uh, to tow the trailer properly, which is very cool. Um, you can also, if you have MP10, put spike in here. There's little tiny, like can, it's very hard to see, but if you look in there, there's two seats and a spike will actually fit in there, which is pretty cool. Uh, also the gun stores back there, which we'll get to later. Uh, size comparison real quick. Here he is with Warf Cybertron uh, Optimus Prime. It's just a figure I had on my desk. So I can show you uh, just a quick comparison. So they're about the same length. So if you have uh, if you have this guy, you can 
He's actually almost the same height, too. The guy's a little bit taller. So yeah, that's a pretty good size comparison right there. They're actually about exactly equal length. So... Whee! Yeah, I'm a cute. Oh, he does also... He rolls okay. He's very loud when he rolls because he's got these very tready feet. Or uh, wheels, rather. Feet. You can see that they're very aggressively treaded. But other than that, he does roll fine. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead. He does have these mirrors on the side. They do like to close very easily, like just when I'm holding him and rolling him around and everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold those up. Just to get him out of the way for now. So, yeah. Absolutely awesome. He is very solid when he's in. It feels like he'd be loose and, and floppy, but he's actually with this bar holding him together and the way the way these pack together, he's actually incredibly solid, which I totally dig. So, anything else to say in this mode? I think we're good. Let's get down to transformation. So first things first, just take him and slide it down. Um, there's actually a lot of sliding back and forth, but we'll get to that. Uh, next thing you want to do is come under here, and you want to get this panel open, which is easier said than done. I just use these tweezers. Just pop this panel up, and uh, flip that open. You can see the gun right there. So what we're going to do next is come under here with your finger, push up on the gun. Hopefully this doesn't do what I think it's going to do. Yeah, there we go. This is the gun. We'll come back to this later. Because it's actually incredibly weird what the gun does. And uh, not like anything else. Uh, not like any other gun. I've actually ever had. You can see it just is these two slide clips. See, one side is closed, so one side is open. So you put it down on the side that is open. So you can leave that open. Come under here, we're gonna fold the wheels in, just hold this panel back. It's very tight, so you're just gonna just kinda wiggle it and get it to go. Fold that in, fold that in. Now, you, this panel right here for the seats serves no other purpose other than the seats in alt mode. And in this mode, what it does is there's actually an accordion hinge down there. You just fold it forward and then fold it down. It does like to pop off. So hold on, yeah, it popped off. You're gonna fold it flat down and it doesn't lock in. Why am I having difficulty with this right now? Fold it forward, fold it down. There we go. So it's just going to sit just like that. And that will fill in the behind the head section. So now we come over here and we're going to open these up. And as you can see, this one does not like to stay closed. Um, it's molded kind of funky. I don't know. It's probably just mine with my bad luck. But as you can see, it just won't hook over that. Like it does on this one. They open it up and you can see that the arms are there. And the hands just hold on to little pegs in there. That will close. It's just when there's any tension on there, it just does not want to close. Same thing over here. Open it up. Take out the arm. Close it back up. Now we're going to take these two bits that the arms were pegged into. Rotate them in on themselves. 90 degrees. And we're going to rotate this whole panel around. And that puts the gun holding section on the outside. Close this panel back up. And then we're going to have to pull it out a little bit just to get everything to line up. So, next, oh, open these these panels, tab on right there into the shoulders and help lock everything together. And they tab onto the body, this itty bitty little, little hole and that itty bitty little peg. It just pop. it kind of goes in, but I mean, not really. It just pops right back out. Um, it's fine. I mean, it doesn't really, like, hinder anything. It just kind of is, like, a guide of to stay close in there, kind of. That makes any sense, but... Open up the chest, revealing the head. 
pull him, pull the head up and rotate the face around. I'm gonna leave that there for now. Um, see there's a, does that go up or down? Push, compress that back down. And now there's a slot right there and a peg right there. So when I had it just now, it was like that. So now you have to recompress it to give clearance. So then you lift up on the shoulder so that when you push it back up, that slot will go into that peg. So you do that over here too. And now when you pull it back, those slots go right in the pegs. Like that. And now we're gonna fold up the chest again. But like I said, the tolerances definitely need work. On mine, this side doesn't like to line up. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, so this side's pegged in, this side isn't, so I just kind of have to finagle it. Let me just make sure that's in there. Don't think it is. Why are you popping back out? There we go. So it pegs in here and there on both sides, those two places. Rotate the fists around, make sure the elbows are in the uh, right places. Like that. So I just wanted to see something. I actually don't know how they do that. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. Um, you get repl a replacement face if you want a different face and replacement hands. But I don't see how to put the hands on. All right, there's a screw, okay. You gotta take the whole forearm apart. So that's his upper body basically done. So then, you can see the backpack just condenses real nice on his back. Everything locks together very nicely. Okay, now for his legs, what we're going to do is come over here, split the feet, and that will unpeg, see it pegs in right there, and then we're going to pull off the hitch. As you can see, one side is longer than the other, we'll get to why in a minute. Um, this hinge right here is only for the Optimus trailer section to make, you know, him haul the Optimus' trailer. Um, if you wanted to, that will give him longer heels, because these are his feet, but that's not what they're quote-unquote for. I'm going to come under here, open this up, unpeg that. Uh, there's a, they peg in, there's two slots there, I think this goes into the slots right there. Um, there's a peg in a hole here, so it'll just plug onto his butt. Come under here. And actually, uh, in vehicle mode, they're compressed in a little bit. And then what you're going to do is pull them out for robot mode. Um, come under here. What you want to do is lift up on these panels and rotate the wheels in. Okay. And then we're going to fold the panels back down. Then we're going to pull the legs out. And these knees are very much like uh, the Dodson's. MP Dotsons. Uh, okay, and we're going to, you can see right there, it's got this double hinge. Very much like the Dotsons. Two slots, two pegs, two slots. Fold these up, like that. And we're going to rotate these, instead of rotating them 100, uh, 180 degrees, like on a normal figure, or like you know an average figure, you're only going to rotate these 90 degrees. So what that does is the 90 degree uh, twist to get them into the shins plus the 90 degree twist at the the thigh will give you 180 degrees and will hide these wheels on the back of his legs which I love stick out the toes point them forward stick out the toe oh he also has I forgot to show this these are on the bottom these he actually has little tailpipes to show off on the bottom of his uh, robot mode uh, vehicle mode these bits can point up I'll get him in frame here in a second but there is Cubex Huff in his robot mode. And he is glorious. I love him. Let's make sure the knees are all. I like to compress the knees down. So as you can see, plastic tolerance is, like I said, these little tabs don't like to hold in. It's really not that big a deal. It doesn't do anything structurally, it's just aesthetics, but. Why am I having trouble making him stand? Because I'm trying to do it in front of a camera, and the camera's on an angle. So that's straight. It's very hard to do this, but I'm behind the camera. Let me tell you. 
So there we go, there he is in his robot mode. And he is spectacular. Uh, let's just do articulation real quick. Head is on a swivel joint and also can do this. Uh, it's mostly just to get him out of the chest during transformation. Shoulders in and out. Swivels are all the way around. Um, this piece, like I said, just bends in and out for transformation. Uh, they're really supposed to be pointed up, but you can do whatever. You can fold them out if you don't like them. It doesn't really matter. Uh, cut in the bicep. Double elbows so we can get that much motion. So instead of 90 degrees, you can go a little bit further. Get about, uh, I don't know, 115 degrees or so. That would be 90. Keeps going. Very cool. Do like double elbows. Uh, wrist swivels. Hands open. Like I said, he does have another pair of hands. They're just closed fists. So if you want that instead. It holds 5mm stuff uh, just fine. So, Unfortunately... Oh my god, he does. I didn't think he had anything at the waist. He has a waist swivel. I totally didn't realize that. Make sure these hips are pulled out. Uh, universal joints or ball joints? Universal joints. So, at the hips, in and out, forward and back. No hindrance whatsoever. You can get straight forward and straight back. Double bend at the knee, so you can get. So if you pull, and especially if you pull this out, you can get some real deep. You can kick it. You can have him kick himself in the backpack. Nice double bend at the knee. Thigh swivel, and he has a tilt. Let me see if I can show that off. That black piece right there. So he has a swivel and a tilt. Very, very cool. The articulation on this guy is just fantastic. And the balance on him is actually even just as good. I had him in a pose on, uh, on Instagram. Let's try to recreate it. It was something along the lines of that. But with just a little... We're holding just fine a minute ago. Ta-da! Yeah, so his balance, he's not that heavy. There's no die cast or anything. So we can pull off those poses and hold them, you know, just fine. Okay, so his gun. We are going to hold on, stay. I'm making this look a lot harder than it is because it's very hard to do this from behind the camera. Believe me when I tell you. And to make it look good. Uh, scale real quick. There he is with uh, War for Cybertron Prime, War for Cybertron Optimus. Let's stay. So uh, at the head you can see he's a lot shorter. But with the backpack he's definitely taller. But uh, it does scale very nicely with MP figures. I didn't grab one. I'm sorry. Kill me. So, for the gun, you take the gun, and you uh, unfold the barrel, pegs in like that. Now, you take the trailer hitch, you take the longer peg, and you just drop it in here, like that, and that's the gun. This does not peg in, this does not slot in, nothing, it will just, actually it's holding in very nicely now, it will just fall out. When he's holding it, it's really not an issue. So he can hold it just fine, and then it's not going anywhere. So real quick, there he is with his gun. Which was only in like one or two episodes of G1. But uh, included it, which is very cool. If you don't want the gun, fold it in half, come around here to the back. Now remember when we flip this panel around, we put the gun placement ports on the back. So you can just slot it in there. But again, just be careful with this stupid thing. I really wish, I don't mind them using parts for me to make the gun, but I really wish that he would, uh, it would peg in when you, when you slot that in, just for a little bit of reassurance. But uh, it doesn't. I actually kind of like the gun. I don't really like how it combines too much. I mean, 
it's a neat little gimmick, but like I said, I really wish it would peg in, or at least stay on there more securely. If I just pinch it together, yeah, that's a little bit better. I just squeeze it all a little bit tighter. But it is what it is. When he's holding it, like I said, there's no issues with it when he's holding it. It's just when he's not holding it, it kind of sucks. But, uh, yeah. Can't recommend this guy enough. I think this is a great figure. First figure for these guys. I'm actually really looking forward to seeing what they, uh, what they choose to do next. I would definitely buy another figure from these guys. I always make this look harder than it is. I'm mean, believe me when I tell you, doing this in front of a camera is a pain in the butt. I guess you could. Maybe that's why. Yeah, I'm trying to mess with the head. Does that matter? No, that screws up your shoulders. It's meant to be back more. Yeah. Um, no light piping. It's just painted. There's, there's nothing there. But uh, light piping would have been wasted on this guy anyway because of the backpack. So, that's really not missed. So, yeah. Again, very cool. Very, 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 very cool. Definitely recommend this guy to uh, anyone looking for a Masterpiece Huffer. Like I said, the only, thing I, the only thing that really pisses me off are these panels. Like, to pop off like crazy. But, otherwise, absolutely fantastic figure. Can't recommend them enough. So if you are in the market, it's either this guy or X Transbots. They're both first appearances. I haven't messed with X Transbots, but I mean, honestly, I've seen videos of him, and I think this guy does huffer better. It's not as blingy, chromey, but I think it captures him better. So yeah, not gonna drag this out any longer. Just a quick shot in the back. You can see how the wheels pulled up in the back. Absolutely love that they hide the wheels, and they do it so much better than X Transbots. Just have the wheel wells right here. I just think this looks so much nicer. So yeah, definitely recommend this guy. Um, just a quick shout out to Dub K Toys on Facebook, or uh, they have a website too. I don't know the name. I think it's DubKToys.com, but uh, just do a Google search for him. Pick this guy up from them. Uh, places like TF Source and BBTS haven't got him in yet, so great way to pick him up, and he's the same price, and he's free shipping, and I can't say good enough good things about those guys. Jason's a, a pretty cool dude, so yeah, definitely a big shout out to them. Check them out. Uh, I'll try to throw a link in the note in the show notes, you know, in the description down below. Make sure you check him out if you want to pick him up, grab it from him. Uh, not getting paid for that, just saying he's a cool dude. He definitely has some great prices, and I'm very fair shipping. I never had a problem with him. So yeah, this has been the video review for Cubex Huff, aka uh, Masterpiece Huffer.